Good morning, everyone. I have um, a lot to do today. I have a lot to do every day. <laughs> um, I struggled to sleep last night because my mind was like racing, thinking about the newspaper article and like, am I going to get a lot of orders from it? Do I have enough stock? I'm doing a market this weekend. Um, and I'm not sure if I've got enough stuff just for that. So, yeah, lots and lots of thoughts going through my head. So today, my plan is I'm going to make up a big batch of hazelnut bonbons because um, I packed all the chocolates I had last night. And <laughs> the problem is um, hazelnut's my favorite. So um, there's a little bit low on the hazelnuts. So I've got to make um, hazelnuts. And then um, on Monday, I'm doing a stylized wedding shoot. Um, it's it's organized by a friend of mine who is a alternative gothic metal punk sort of um, wedding planner, a uh, wedding coordinator, and um, that is not my style. I mean, you guys know how good I am, but it really pushes me like creatively because I've had I did a wedding fair, um, you know, in that genre as well. So um, what I've got to do is I'm making the like wedding favors for the stylized shoot. And so I'm going to make two types. I'm going to make the snacking bars, which are these long ones. And then I'm also going to make bonbons. And then they can see what fits best in the theme. Um, and the colors are, I, I asked her, I was like, send me like all the other stuff you've got. So she sent me like um, the stationery that they're using the like wedding invite, all of that, so that I could draw inspiration from it. So the colors are gonna be like red and pink, black and white, which is really cool. Um, and then, like I said, the hazelnut ones. And then I'm making some um, espresso caramel bars because I'm out of those. I'm trying to get my website so that everything is in stock um, before this newspaper article comes along. I'm filming in portrait because um, I'm going to make a reel today as well for Instagram and it's just easier if I've got everything in portrait that I'm not messing up like I did with that first video I did back. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. I've polished all the molds already. Henry was in here helping me with some stuff um, and so while he was in here I polished all the molds because my plan was to polish and talk to you and give you updates and stuff but I've already done that so it's time to get to work. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray um, white cocoa butter. I need white dots. So if I'm just looking, I need to go along. I've got a paintbrush. And I'm dipping it in the cocoa butter. And then I'm just flicking it off my finger. You can get white dots like with an airbrush, um, but I'm not really using the airbrush today. So I figure, you know, there's no reason to set it all up just to do some dots when I can very easily do it like that. And then clean it, and then you guys can see on the bottom. See the dots that I've just created on there. like a marble effect and what I do is I do one set of colors this way and then I turn around and do the other set so I'm gonna start off with pink and purple and I'm basically just putting like a dot of pink in each cavity um, you're supposed to only do like three of these at a uh, six of them at a time really in case everything cools down um, I've done this quite a lot. Ah, 
but you know what i'm not going to do the whole thing like i normally do because i'm in my new kitchen and my new kitchen is actually colder than when i do it inside the house so i'm only going to do um gosh i don't know how many i've just done now i'll show you guys now so what i've done is i've now put a blob of purple next to the pink and then i'm going to take my finger in and i'm going to just mash those colors together i'll show you guys in a second what it looks like and i'm going to be very careful as i go along to make sure that i put the pink on one side and the um purple on the other and always on the same one there you go so that's what it's looking like at the moment that's what i meant the other day when i said oh i wish i had my whiteboard so i could show you now i'm going to do the bottom i probably could have done the whole thing without um the cocoa butter going too cold in the mold because then it's like really difficult to mush it around because it, obviously it hardens and it dries well i suppose the technical would be it starts to crystallize and set but you know me i'm not a very technical girl so yeah it makes it difficult to do So, usually what I would do is I would do the one side of all of them, put them to the side, and then come back. But because I'm filming, I'm going to do the other side for you guys. So, I'm going to make sure that I do my pink on the same side this time, so that it's not pink on pink. Because the pink is now on that side, and I want it to be on the other side. And now I'm going to go in, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but this time I'm going to use blue. And my blue a little bit too cold so I've got to heat that up with my um, heat gun so I'll warm that up slightly okay let's go I'll do the first few so you guys can see I'm not going to make this into another 18 minute vlog like I did the other day <laughs> thank you for everyone who actually made it through the vlog <laughs> that was a really long one I love doing this design and because it's my favorite chocolate to eat I love making these chocolates because um, well, let's just say like a lot goes in my mouth <laughs> on hazelnut days they're my absolute favorite okay, let's get that in there so these ones are gonna look like little galaxies right where's my whiteboard so I can show you guys They're little galaxies. It'll be easier to see once I pop them out. But right, let me get on with it. There, I think you can see it better if I do it like this. So you can see they really have like a galaxy effect to them. And um, the great thing about this design is it's very difficult to mess up. <laughs> so yay. Okay. So my hazelnuts are done, my hazelnut <laughs> molds are done, and now I'm going to do my bars. Um, this is very technical stuff, you guys. Watch this. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm not going to get um, it sprayed all over my phone. But basically, all my bars pretty much have the same sort of design. I love just flicking um, cocoa butter on see how it sort of lands I'm going to show you guys in just a second so I've just flicked it's hard to see but I've just flicked gold and this is such a sparkly beautiful gold it's gorgeous um, I use it quite a lot to be honest with this one I am going to do all of them in gold first because I don't I want the gold to sort of like set a bit before I move on to red so all the bars mimic the color the colors of the bonbons and the espresso caramel bonbon is black gold and red so there we go i'm just making a few of these um honestly because my other bars 
are not dry yet from making the hazelnut bars uh, yesterday. No, not yesterday, the day before. And chocolate and water do not mix. This, um, it hasn't all melted and the reason I'm going like this is because I'm trying to get this really like sparkly gold out because I want this gold to like really pop in the mold. Okay. go in with this flame red which is just so pretty <gasps> oh guys I love it I love it I love it wow okay let me let this dry for a second and then I'll show you guys how pretty it looks I'm gonna leave this for a while I'm in the process of tempering my dark chocolate and I'm tempering white chocolate as we speak so that once these all dry um, I'll be able to pour. I'm also waiting for Henry to make me some espresso so I can make the caramel so I probably won't finish this today but I'll get far enough you'll be able to see right Ah, uh, I look so bloody now. <laughs> Let me turn the camera around. So that's what they look like. So very messy, very shiny and sparkly. And they will come out, hopefully, looking very, very beautiful. <laughs> Again. Oh, I've just had an email from um, a subscriber, I won't say your name just in case you don't want me to say it, but you know who you are because I have replied to you, um, saying that they thought I was unhappy because I deleted their comments on my latest video. I, I swear to you, I don't delete comments. Um, you guys have seen negative comments on the channel before, I mean it doesn't ha it hasn't happened very often, I've been very, very, very lucky. And actually, I was looking at statistics and like the overall likes versus d dislikes on this channel is 98.7% positive. So um, I've been very lucky with that. The only time I have deleted comments was uh, there was somebody years ago who kept popping up with different names. Some of you all know who I'm talking about. Kept popping up with different names. But similar profile pictures and um, some of the comments were just not like appropriate for a channel about dogs that's the only one that I can think of off the top of my head oh and there was one racist comment as well that I deleted um, but I promise you I don't delete comments so I'm so sorry that that happened but oh and I hate that Somebody thinks that I did that to them on purpose, um, because I didn't. Um, right, so now I'm sitting here, I'm waiting for the chocolate to temper. Uh, <laughs> and of course now I've had like more ideas, so now I've decorated some more moulds, because um, I want to do, you can't see on this one, but there's actually a silver and um, like a sparkly yellow. I'm going to do some caramel chocolates as well, or for those of you some parts of the states, some caramel. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I'm gonna, oh, I was gonna say I'm gonna end off the video, but I guess you wanna see what the chocolates look like. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm still getting back in the swing of these YouTube videos. Um, and of course, not just seeing my face, but seeing, you know, <laughs> all I have to offer. <laughs> oh, and I already, I can't believe this, I already got a call from the hospital. So I'm going for my MRI on Tuesday. I can't believe how quick that is you guys. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. Um the healthcare where we live now is so great because we moved. I guess I didn't mention that. Um we moved a few months ago and we're further south and on the coast and um yeah. Oh and the lovely person whose comment was removed he was just putting my chocolate website on there um so my website is www.lavoco which is 
combination of Levy's name and Coco. So it's L E V O C O dot C O dot U K. Thank you for trying to spread the word. That's so kind, and I'm so sorry that your comment got deleted somewhere. So, right, let me get back to waiting. Okay, so I'm now going to. My chocolate is now tempered, and I am now going to fill the cavities to make the shells. And this part, like you would typically do with a piping bag, but piping bags really hurt my hand because um, obviously, you know, you've either got you've got to use two hands, and this hand gets very very sore um, holding a piping hand, a piping bag. So I use a jug, and I just pour it. So um, to a lot of chefs, that's cheating. Um, to me, it's just the way I make it work, really. Um, okay, so just gonna pour the chocolate in. <laughs> I went quiet because I'm concentrating. See, so yeah, now my left hand can just rest for a minute. I have to pipe the middle, you know, um, the fillings. So take the rest by where I can get it really. Okay. So now I've filled all of the cavities. I'm going to bang it like this. And the reason I'm banging it is any air bubbles that are in there I want to get out. And I'm going to take my scraper. bubbles coming up. I'm going to tap it again because it is the easiest even though it's like loud. Okay, now that's all done. What I'm going to do, this looks so cool. Yeah, it's all coming out. down there my hand was like please I need a break if you notice I'm not actually even using my thumb for this because it's just too uncomfortable I'm not telling you that just to be like oh poor me <laughs> Um, just if anyone who makes chocolates is watching and they think I'm doing it a little bit weirdly, it is because of my injury. There we go. I'm getting the top of the mold really nice and clean and free of chocolate. So there we go. There's my little shells, all nice and shiny. And I'm going to go put this down and leave it to set for a couple of hours. Okay, so now it's time for me to actually fill the bonbons because I did cheat and I put these in the fridge to make them sit quicker. Look how pretty they're gonna be. Yay! Um, I already made the um, hazelnut filling, so I didn't bring you along for that. Wow, that was a bit close up for my. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a good angle for me. I looked up and all I could see was my chins. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm just going to fill these up, as you can see. I'm not the neatest, but I'll get the job done. And then um, we'll cap them off. Easy peasy. Okay, so I've filled my chocolates and now I need to cap them off, close them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat them up with my pink gum thingy. You just want to get the edges of the chocolate like a little bit uh, wet. And then I'm going to pour this chocolate in because it's going to become like a glue, if that makes sense. People do this in all different ways. Like, again, you're supposed to pipe this but I've already explained why I don't I always fill like the first few and then I just 
put a little bit in the last ones and hope for the best. to get um, rid of the air bubbles and then I've got these acetate sheets put the sheet over the top I'm going to use my scraper again and I'm just going to scrape I haven't got quite enough in this one little misjudged it ever so slightly let's see if I can I don't know So basically what I've done is, if you have a look at this one here, I don't know if it's going to show, yeah, you can see there's not enough um, chocolate in there. So I'm just going to grab some chocolate, my scraper, lift it up, pop it in there like that, the more you do it, the more you get off here, firstly the more chocolate you save. And secondly, the easier it is when it comes time to take the chocolate out. Now, because I'm working with nuts, I've got to be really careful. What I usually do is all the chocolate that comes off the molds like this, I just put it at the top of my um, got parchment paper here. I just put it at the top there, and then you know, Levy and I can snack on it because we're not allergic to nuts that can't go back into the um, chocolate that I'm working with. So yeah, I'm going to do that for all of them and then we leave them to set. <laughs> every time, you guys, it gets me every time. Um, I had this great plan of how I was going to end off this video, but I got to go pick up Levy right now and I was going to lay all the bonbons out across um, my workbench and then do this beautiful panning <laughs> video of them. Um, but only one of them is ready. So, um, can you just imagine that this next shot is a panning shot? <laughs> it will is filled with beautiful bonbons. Okay, just just visualize, you guys. Work with me here. Aren't they beautiful? Wow! Look at them, you guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> you are a champion. <laughs> you are the the winner of the whole race because you're the only one that has popped out the mold so far i guess i'm like trying to rush because i want to go get lev but there you go that's the final result of <laughs> well and those ones as well of my um my hazelnut bonbons see they do have like a very galaxy feel to them don't they right i'm gonna end off i'm gonna go get my little lev bug from school thanks so much for joining me today you guys Thanks for using your imaginations and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.